Hey, this is Ronnie. And this is Reese. And, and this, this is Soft 30. 30. So tonight we are doing a little different now. We have a ladies night, wine night, pillow talk. What's going on, y'all? Hey. 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 Chrissy Pass. Allegedly. <laughs> Why do you have to announce that? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was funny. So uh, we have Chrissy. We have Tracy. Tracy is our virgin. Our virgin. We're going to pop her tray tonight. Yes. Pop, pop, pop. pop. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready for your tray to be popped? You didn't say gin. I, I didn't say gin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Double shout out. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're going to pop your cherry tray. Uh-oh. So I know you're married. So what's, how freaky do you get with your, your husband? Oh, man. Straight, Straight to it. it. Yeah. Just like that. Drop the drill. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he <it> <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's just say married life, you got to go all the way in. It's, it's unlimited. So. <laughs> No limit to the yeah, it's yes that goes on. I mean, you lick this ass. Oh no! Okay, you say all that. You say all that. I'm just saying. I just know. Oh okay. Yeah, no, no. But everything else is like ultimate. I mean, if he wanted you to, would you? Hell no. You would? Yes. Oh wow, she had a date. If we're married, I'd probably be like, okay, whatever. No, if. If I we're married and my husband asked me to lick his ass, I'm telling him fuck no. Uh, no. You got nasty enough. Disgusting and I don't think he would even want I don't think, me to I don't think he'll be interested at all. But I have heard a lot of older men say Look at a like man's that. ass. I have heard have a you lot ever of heard Tank explain the experience? Tank have like you ex- heard him oh, yeah. explain Make sure he shave his ass before you leave. And who that so nasty? Who got time for that? like his ass? That's right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, wait, that's all yet. Me personally, though, if a man is wanting his butt like this, I'm, I'm gonna have a you couple might of questions. Question. So, the question right. would be, he's a human too. You right. like your butt leg? No, and that's how they 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 I, I we just we just not there yet, but you know, to each his own. Mm-hmm. Hey, how many years we married? It'll be three years in July. You be doing, yeah, she'll yeah. be doing it next year. Uh, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> baby, I'm not ready. I'm, I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> We've been together since. Um, middle school. Who hooked y'all up? So, oh yeah. Oh Shout my gosh, me. you cannot tweet your own. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mm-hmm. daughter thinks that um, like she's talking to this boy. Not talking, but you, you get it. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. she thinks she has a boyfriend. Oh my! And both God. of them are so sweet kids. They don't talk outside of school. They're not in the same <laughs> class and stuff like that. Anyway, they think they're boyfriend girlfriend. And she's like, Tracy and Tim got married, and they were together since junior high school. Mm-mm. She's trying Naya, to follow your footsteps. Girl, you. No. she give you hints. She think that could be uh, a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Naya, you, I was like, you're gonna have so many crushes in your life, and you know, I was like, down is just not the time for you to try to not. Yeah. You know, but like I said, I already the school know not to put them in the same class. I, I talk very often. It is with not the boys that serious, mother. is it? Um, it's not I because, like I say. said, both of them are very good kids. But I like to make to be, money, not to get married. I like to be yeah. in the know, you know. So maybe he's going to tell his parents something, or Naya tells me something. And I'm going to tell his mother because we need to be in the know as parents. That's true. Communication is key, and I tell Naya all the time. Like I don't want her hiding anything from me. So she want to think she got a boyfriend. That's fine. She can think she got a boyfriend. <laughs> we jump from looking at kids. Right? Like how do you little kids. kids. <laughs> I'm still thinking about licking no. ass. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But I mean, most of us for ladies' night is parents. It's that one thing. So, oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Thank hey. You. Thank you. And all y'all damn people. You a mom. <laughs> Yeah, you, you had a puppy of fish. You are like you're a mom. I, I used to get her. I used to get you something for Mother's Day because you helped me out with something this year. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna no, get no, to no, no, All gift cards are accepted. Yeah, I don't know. I, I did see Tennessee on sale somewhere, so maybe I'll take that. I'll take that. She's enough know. of it. I'll take Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get back to the set. The merge mm. set. The mm. merge set. Well. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just throw out that Tracy Butt 
is getting like really oh fat. It is. Really? It was not that big. It wasn't as big really? at first. He's taking it from the back. I have lots. No, y'all no. have the mm-hmm. sex. Yes, no. he's hitting it from the back. You, you, try no, hitting it from the back and ass sex no. is two different things. Yeah, yeah not not ass sex. Marriage, y'all. y'all not oh, ass sex. Yeah, because when they got married, they was having the kids, so it's like it was a lot. They didn't get to enjoy it like the first Look year. Sure. You, yeah. not, you are not in it. I was pregnant on the honeymoon. Yeah, it was kind of like. We didn't get to do everything. So right after she came they, out, the six weeks, it was like, oh, yeah, back to butt. We still didn't get to do it because we have a new baby. So we got to go around her schedule. It's hard to get it in around a two-year-old that's... It wouldn't be if she trusts other people like the god Oh, my gosh. No, we not. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can get a break. Not a break. But I do I think parents deserve breaks. But you can get, like, you know, some you time for a couple hours or, know. you know, a day or so. I think it's because it's the first time parent, like... I think that's what it is. You got to be like, freaky enough. Be away from her right now. If you're freaky enough, mm-hmm. you'll figure it out. Exactly. Yeah. You're not oh, figuring it out. We figure it out. Right. Middle of the night. Oh, can you tell us that story about the, the, the glow sticks? Which y'all was going with the glow sticks or something? Who did something glow sticks? Y'all had to find <laughs> the glow sticks or something. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. glow sticks. I don't know. She was telling me that. Come on, thank you. So what is something special that you've done for him since y'all have been married? Sexual, uh-huh. be sexual or you know just like oh my gosh I'm going to do something to be honest well we were together so young so we did almost everything before we even got married the only thing I can say that we did I was not doing oral sex at first when we were boyfriend girl I said that's something I'm saving for my husband and he's my oh. husband yeah, he put a ring on oh. it was oh. like <laughs> <laughs> One thing, yeah, everything else, we've been trying it since we was teenagers. So. But he been eating your pussy? Yeah, that's been. Well, that's I don't know. Better slip this. Anime. I say I ain't to say something before you do everything too soon. It's like, what's going to be left? So, yeah, that's, that's you know true. what I mean? You still got a bunch more stuff left. So, um, are y'all going to try like threesomes? Uh, we discussed that. It'll come eventually, I'm sure. We 29, and Lord knows we got a long way to go. So, yeah, a know. lifetime is a long time. And but y'all don't want to be the old couple, like, being all freaky with threesomes and young No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Get out the way no. now. So no, that's what I'm saying. I think once we get more comfortable in the marriage, and we're comfortable with a naked man or another naked woman. And I think we're comfortable with it now, but I think... I don't think he's going to let it be a man. Not a man. <laughs> he, uh, is gonna be, he is not going to let it be a man. Like, I'm just saying. It. I'm just saying. It got to be straight. It got to be fair. <laughs> it got to be fair. Like, like, he's going to be like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you touch no, me no, I don't think... No, let me clean this up. He's not going to let the man touch him. I should say that. If we ever did... He's not going to let the man touch you either. Right? <laughs> the man can and watch. I don't know. That's, That's something we haven't really gotten to do to yet. But we all about to go into our thirties, so you never know. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm. I heard the sex drive go early. Um, yeah. Is it all forties? You gotta wait till forty to be freaky. Hey, that's say forty. Yeah, yeah. 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 Forty. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shower, lick the butt, and make sure he's shaved because you don't want no butt hairs in your mouth. But my butt is hairy. Oh, I'm not licking nobody. Oh my god, I'm not licking my ass. And if he let me lick his ass, he not right. He is right. Why? What makes him not right? I think so. The question is. Okay, so the question is, is he bent over while I'm licking his ass, oh, or is his oh, legs up in the air while I'm in? Like no, no, his what legs is, are up in the air. Oh, right. And I put my tongue no, in his ass. Balls. <laughs> your tongue across his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his ass. <laughs> no. That does not happen. That does not happen. How is your legs? How is your legs when he in your ass? Suck his dick from the back. I'm with doing different shit. I think I could be a little freaky. It's a little freaky. What's your freaky? No, no, who's your freaky? I, I, yeah, I want to know what's your freaky. What you? It depends. First of all, it depends on if you married or not. It's it not. Depends. You don't have to be married to do freaky shit. You don't have to. So what's your freaky? Thing? I mean, it depends. Like, what? What is the moment? You know, it doesn't depend. The it depends on you. Who is the person? I mean, the person. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I can't say. So, what's your freaky? If it was somebody you was feeling, right? Uh-huh. You was feeling him, and mm-hmm. you wanted him to feel you how you feeling him. What would you do to him freaky to make him like, yeah, I'm here. Like, yeah. Some regular <laughs> shit? You would do regular shit. Oh, you going to deep throw it? You would do some regular shit and wait for the call in two days. With deep throw it. In. But what I, I don't, I don't have a problem with deep throwing. Like I suck dick. I think I suck dick good, okay. rather good. I know. I'm gonna say I know. Yeah. Does your nose run? Because I heard like if you do it good, your nose runs. No. 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 Well, I don't think I know. Yeah, I'm about to say I did eyes. Have my nose run before? I Have you ever so. stuck your finger in your thumb? Uh, you be like, you, you, you your nose run, and your eyes yeah, and all you that. that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can no, say that I happened before. No, no, because it's like, 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 like no, because it's like once you're done, mm-hmm. you know, it's like you gotta clean yourself up and shit. Know, that but might, that might be spit up in my nose for me. <laughs> I don't know. Spit. Not that. <laughs> a little bit of both. Bust, <laughs> no, it don't, it don't become. It don't bust all in my nose like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, one time I did think it came through my nose. Damn. <laughs> it was like, what? Uh, 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 who is that? Uh, 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 what? <laughs> That's nasty. Hey, y'all. So listen, I, I need some some help with this thing I'm trying to do, right? So I already said it like a couple of episodes ago that I'm gonna do this something special for Kiki and oh that's so cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> so pretty much like um, I I bought white balloons because I'm gonna write on them why I appreciate her and you know things like that um, why I love her why I appreciate her um, and. I got some sexy lingerie. It looks real cute. And y'all know I don't wear bras, but I got this little bra thingy that's going to make my boobs go like this. It's no occasion. Okay. Oh, I'm just doing it because we're trying to work on our relationship. And so I don't think she thinks, like, when we were talking about things that, you know, we need to work on for each other, like, she's like, I don't feel like you appreciate me. So I'm yeah, trying to, you know, I'm trying to do her. something, yeah, to show her that I appreciate her. And I'm going to get a hotel room because even though we live together already, Someone is sleeping in our living room. So I really can't like put the balloons everywhere. I got roses. I got candles. Mm-hmm. I got wine glasses. Mm-hmm. You know, I got all that stuff. So I don't want to do it in an apartment because, you know. Are you going to eat her ass that night? <laughs> you should. <laughs> that's, 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 that's,
Because I mean, um, does Kiki want her ass? I don't like, think so. No, she I probably so. does. Um, but I never know. I, I will know. try it, and if she pushes my head away, then I know not to try that shit again. So let's and try I'm it. So she gonna be like. Yep, let's try it. Let's let her try it. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, she doesn't know. So like, what I want to do is like, one day I'm 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 gonna be like, oh, I'm going to hang out with Keto or something like that, and then I'm going to text her after I set everything up, and I'm like, hey, can you come pick me up? I'm ready to go. This and then when like she gets to the hotel, up. what if she didn't shower? How long you guys been together? Sweat? We've been together uh, five years in December. Sound like this is fuck up. I didn't fuck up. Um, I didn't fuck up. I did yeah. fuck up. I'm a little mean. I'm a little mean to her. And I explained to her why I'm a little mean to her. So we both have things that we have to work on. And um, I definitely think that we can work on it. And everything um, worked just fine. So, but like I said, when we were talking about what we need to work on for each other, one of the things was that she think I don't appreciate her. And I really do. I appreciate everything she does for me. So I mean, you never tell her. You never do anything that shows that you appreciate. No, her. because I'm not really. Um, I'm not really. I don't, I, it's hard for me to show my emotions a lot. So, um, what why do you that? think that is? Not you. <laughs> we need to know more. Sit down. Um, you know, so Kitty just joined us with her big booty, um, big bent booty. over in the lab. She brought her own pillow. I mean, her own ass. Yeah, her own ass. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hey. How y'all doing? Building whatever. Why are you so late? And why are you just ignoring my phone call? Like, I don't like being ignored. And you know I act like a crazy ex girlfriend. <laughs> an ex girlfriend. I am crazy. No, you ex girlfriend. You saw him doing shit. I'm bad. But anyway, so what do you guys suggest? Well, like, or does that sound good so far? You're on a really good path. You're on a really good path. Yeah. That's what I did. That's really sweet. You know, I think I think I'm it'll be cute. You. It didn't cost me much. Um, the most is, thing it's going to cost is the hotel room. Like everything else was fucking cheap. So you know, I don't. I think it'll be cute, yeah, and I, I hope she like it. And I used to do stuff like that when we I first started talking. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this hooked up on a hotel. But um, it's either going to be this Sunday or next Saturday. Is that something she likes? Yeah, because like when we first started talking, I used to do stuff like that all the time. Like I left her a scavenger hunt one time. Yeah. Like for her birthday. Mm -hmm. I went to her job and I left a note on her car and I was just like, um, go to this address or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when she got to the address, it was like something else and it had a balloon and stuff. And then it was like, go to this address. And when she came to the when she came to the hotel, um, I told her where to park, and then I, I had, like, when I opened the door, I had on, no, I told the guy downstairs to give her a key. Mm -hmm. So when she came up, I had on, like, this uh, stripper outfit. Okay. Y'all know I can dance, but ah! I had this stripper outfit. And what happened? I, um, you took it. And she took it. <laughs> I took it. You took it her dance skills. Oh, yeah, I tried she to got, teach her. She did try to teach me. She, she, she tried to give me a whole dance routine. Really? Oh, yeah. I was like, Reese, um, off your back. And she yeah. was like, I can't. Like, ah, like, you see me hunched over like this. Like, it's hard. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, and, and that night was really fun. I had her some food waiting. I had wine. Um, it was really nice. Like, I had her a bath friend. Oh, but yeah. But she was so her head that in between two of the things, she went home and took a shower. And I was like, nigga, I had a bath oh, friend. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I always I always do, like, little random sweet surprises. Like, um, I took her on a little This is really cute. Thank you. Tree of life. I only have one. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> long story. So, but, um, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, go ahead. But, no, that was it. Like, I was just saying if you guys had any suggestions on what I should do when I get there or anything else I should add or anything like that. I don't think anyone has any suggestions on your relationship. Right. No, I I'm think, talking about the thing that I'm I doing. think you should just like, eat her ass. ass. Yeah. Eat her ass. Make her feel <laughs> special. <laughs> make her feel vulnerable. That makes people feel special when they're vulnerable and they can submit to you. Make her do whatever yes. you feel like Ooh, that is. I can bring the S&M stuff I bought. I you should. Like, you yes. should. I don't know what that is. is. Oh, I wish I would have bought a black outfit. That might be a little aggressive. Like a red, I got a um, little broke. aggressive size. It shouldn't be aggressive. It should be it's more aggressive. A little aggressive. But you said you wanted to take charge. No, you should allow somebody to be submissive without being constrained. Right? Oh, man, I, I feel like well, maybe I, 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 I don't know either yeah. way with it. 
I don't know. I'm gonna call the housekeeper yeah. up there and be like, "Can you cut these behind my back, please?" <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What?" Be like, yeah, like, it's okay. I me. feel like you either ask you, be like, "Can you paint my nails?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna go <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's like it's just gonna break all the way down. <laughs> I know, but now I definitely have to do it soon because she definitely listens to the podcast. So mm. I got to do it pretty soon now because I don't want her to. You should do it on Sunday. Now. Bet that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to do it Sunday. Um, and hopefully it comes Just out. Just don't get no time for me. Right. right. <laughs> so you're going to be bubbling. Oh, Lord. But has anybody else done anything special like that? I had one time uh, for Valentine's Day. Surprise. I did a little scavenger hunt, kind of. With my with my ex and um, we went to a wine tasting. So I had him that sounds um, like a meet bunch me there, of fun. did a wine taster, and then uh. I had I had him pick up food while mm. I went to set up the room. Mm. But he already knew what I, what I was doing because I do shit like this. I like this kind of shit. So, um, and it was my year. We did every other year for Valentine's Day, so it was my year. I was like, I'm gonna do it right, okay? <laughs> so I set the hotel room up real nice or whatever, and we didn't even eat because soon as he came in the room and I had my outfit, he was like, let's go. I was like, Damn. So, yeah, and I think that's how Kiki's going to be. Damn, Dino. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's the best night. <laughs> it is, but you know when you buy your, your outfit and your heels and stuff, you're like, yeah, I really want to wear this. I want to dance. I want to be cute. But I had it on for two seconds. I'm like, I just want to wear it. It don't last long. It was your point. I'm going to wear it in my outfit. So I didn't like that shit, but I don't know. Anybody else? Yeah, I don't know. Kiara is preoccupied. She's the fastest thumb in America. Like, <laughs> shit. We should enter the, the Guinness the Book. Thumb. You know they say when girls are mad, they be texting fast. Point, the point is good. And her face. Her face is disgusting. Hey, Kitty, I need the womb doctor that you went to. Mm-hmm. Did you I, know her personally? I told them last week that I smelled so good. Wait. You smell like herbs. Did you get the Did coochie rejuvenation? Yes, thing she, where you she, sat over the I thing. Got a, I got a vagina rejuvenation. Oh my! Vagina. Did it tighten it? It tightened it, and it smells like herbs. But oh my god! During the you smelled the, it. Um, I smelled it a week later. Damn it! I was like, <laughs> <laughs> during the, um, the session, she lit candles. We sipped tea. Mm. She gave us um, hand and arm massages, and then um, she just played this music. We did it for an hour. And that's it. She didn't read my vagina. So did you I wear, wear this? Red. Did you did you wear this skirt thing and you sat over this hot pot? I found out that they do. That. Yes. Oh. I don't need it, but I've seen it. One of my my hairdresser yeah, does that. I don't need it. I, I want to do it. I feel so, like she do it. Or I want to do goes. it too. She, she she goes. Okay. She goes. But with like for you, I feel like I need my one. hairdresser went because she had a baby <laughs> like recent. Mm. So what, why would you go? I went because I had this new guy that I was talking to, mm-hmm. and I wanted a new vagina. Okay, I'm gonna right. go because I just think that it's get really it cool it right. to like you know get your pussy steam, and mm-hmm. that's why I'm going. Right. I want my pussy steam. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Hot <laughs> water, not some salt. <laughs> But you can do it yourself. They sell them. You can, you can, you, you boil I it. it myself. I'm a, I'm a mess up. You, you boil it on the stove, uh-huh. and then you take a steel pot. You turn your toilet off so the water runs out, and you put it in your toilet, and you sit on top of the toilet with a sheet. Ooh. With a sheet, and, and it's steam. I can do you. I'm charging uh, forty dollars. <laughs> I'm the cheapest on the planet. Uh, I think I want. I will read your I, I, want, I, want, I want to go to like. I'm about to say, I will go. Yeah, I will go. Just for the experience. Yeah. yeah. Come to me. It's cool. Is it expensive? Um, How much is it? Good it was $75. Oh, oh, oh it's good. The girl I was going to go to is $189. Okay. Uh, I need you to text me that info. Uh, <laughs> come, come to Ronnie's. <laughs> <laughs> the girl works out. Um, one of my posters. But she don't just do those. She makes like her own creams and butters and lipsticks and hair stuff. I just want my pussy. She's like a natural. Mm-hmm. Stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she want my pussy. Because I think it's fucking cool. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's fucking cool. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I want to do it. Anyway, whatever. Reese, did you have a uh, question for us? I did, but I gotta pull it out. Oh, for the mommies, was it for the mommies? Did I hit it for the mommies? Oh, I, I said know. Mother's Day to y'all. Thank you. I'm stressed out. All the way. Fine. I was just like, I was, I just had like a really good aura going on today. And just now it was just. It was after you came in here? Like, was it us? No. It's like 
before I walked in the door. Oh. We can say some positive vibes your way. Please. Like, I even have a headache now. I'm going <laughs> somewhere. No, don't, don't get no headache. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. shit. Fuck that shit. I'm not locking in that area. Oh, I need dick on the regular. Yes, oh, regular dick. Where did I have <laughs> 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 So, like, so it's so well, shit. No, we didn't do check in, so you didn't you didn't miss like okay. what happened without me. Well, I wasn't really saying check in, just saying what's up. I haven't seen you all in a while. Yeah. I know. I like, you know, I didn't know that you were even going out of the country. Yeah. And so I like. I was in the Bahamas. Oh, all right. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, sixty. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So my question was for. I'm not going to do my mom questions yet because we already did enough kid talk. So I'm going to try okay. to push it back a little more so we can not be mothers for tonight. Um, but anyway, so if you guys, if you guys, right, were, let's say 30 to 35 to 45, right? And you got out of a relationship and you're just like, you know what? I'm going to try someone younger. Would you guys do it? Not you because you're, you're home. Right <laughs> but right now. like, you, you guys, like, would you date someone, if you're 35, would you date somebody that's 25? Um, absolutely. What? I'm a panther. I would I, I would ask, I asked because on ask the radio, <laughs> on the I radio, they <laughs> were talking about, um, like, what mothers did to get their groove back. Pretty much. And one girl called in and she's like, I'm 21 and my mother married, my mother's 37 and she married a 25 year old and now they have two kids. Mm. Oh, fuck. And me. I was like, I know that's right, mother. Get your groove back. Get your, <laughs> get your whole groove back. I would have dropped the kid part, but yeah. I would definitely get my groove back. And, um, and then it, they were like pretty much saying like, okay, well, is the husband more of like your friend or more like your stepfather? Your son. And your son. That's what, exactly. Your son. Like I'm not. You I will date you. Well, I will fuck you, yeah, right? But I'm not going to date you. I'm serious. No, we're talking about her daughter. Like her daughter. Because her daughter and her stepfather is twenty-five. But I wouldn't feel like that's a child. Ten years or twelve years older than your person. That doesn't make you pedophile and it doesn't make you their parent because nobody's having kids at 12 years old. So technically, I, I wouldn't be. Some people. I mean, some people I are, disagree. but <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, you're most likely, I'll say, most likely you're not going to be a parent at 12 years old. Okay, let's. So 12 years older, if I'm 37 and you're 25, I'm pretty go for it. Let's put yourself in a situation. Would you talk to, would you talk to my 10 years younger than you? At this age or at no at 35? this age no at this age no, I mean you really thank you at any age at this age and my ten year younger would be nineteen like, thank you at any age you wouldn't so, do no. it no I actually I think that age thing drops after a certain age and I yeah. think that age is twenty five because it's twenty five twenty five you can date whatever age you want because at this point you should be mature enough to know. If someone is using you or if they're not using you. Now, when you're 15 and you're dating a 25-year-old, you're you're a little ignorant. Mm-hmm. So you don't know if this person is using you. It could be for sex. It could be for your parents' money. It could be for a place to stay. But, or whatever else they people use people for. But, you know, it's it's different from 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45. But it's my opinion to disagree. Mm-hmm. I just, I wouldn't. If I'm... 10 years older than a guy. I don't care what age I am. You won't do it. I'm most likely not going to talk to you. Thank you. I don't even want to talk to somebody that's active age. Even if he's already set in his career, even if he's he's ready to settle down. I just feel like I don't know what I'm going to do at 35 because I'm not 35. Right. But (laughs) right now, no. I wouldn't talk to a How old are you now? I'm 28. So 28. So if you put if you put the age so if you put the age on it, you still wouldn't do it. You it's still the same standard. You evolve mm-hmm. and grow as you get older. Yeah, I was right. going to say that. So I, I never really talked to it. people that were younger than me anyway, though. Right. It's yeah, always been like five I, years I never have. So, but I think that if I'm 35, 
I don't think I would be like completely. It's a good fuck. Time. Yeah, it's probably a good fuck. Because good for like an older. Be <laughs> no, hell no. You would. No. You talking about. Me and Pam no, hell no. You talking about. about. Wifing him up, husband it him up. On the he may be still wifing you up. If you're 25 years old, you're mature 25 year old out here. It is. I agree. I agree. No. 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 This, this guy. They still call it home how you make macaroni and cheese, mom. <laughs> no. I used to see this no, guy. No, no, no. You tripping. No, no, no. Listen. No I used to see this guy all the time, right? He was, he was 24. This wasn't even that long ago. We would have conversations with when we see each other. So he was always like, give me your number. Let's go out. Blah, blah. I'm like, no. He, he seemed like he was mature. Then one day, he come in with his friends. He's like, oh, this is my baby mama. Dead. Who the fuck? Who? Dead. You Dead. had a little bit of a chance. And then you came here talking about, I'm your baby mama. What? Dead. Okay, well, we're not talking what? about the immature Sad. people. We're talking about the... I think that um, they, I, would, I would marry... If I was thirty five, I would, or if I was thirty seven, I would definitely marry a twenty five year old. I think. Every and how many case, times would you do that? Um, I would hope I would get married once. No. Um, but I've never been married before, <laughs> yeah. and so yeah. I don't know. Right. But I do. What I, get married what, I, what I do know you, is that every everybody is different. Everybody mm-hmm. is unique, and you can't generalize a certain age group on on what you one think experience, or what you, right. right? Or what you what you think that you, for example, he's not. He may not be calling home asking how you make macaroni mm-hmm. and cheese because he probably been on his own since he was fucking was eleven years say, old. You don't know what type of case it is. I work with kids who are on their own at twelve years old and they're fourteen and they act like they're fucking twenty six years old. But mm-hmm. that's the mentality that they had. Mm-hmm. So if I was thirty seven and a twenty five year old, God placed him in my life and he. Was, he ready to wife you, and he ready to wife me, and not only that, but he got his shit together. He got his <laughs> shit together more than fucking forty year olds do. You said right, I'm a husband. Yeah, I'm gonna say. And five, and five years later, you gonna be knocking on an older dude. Listen, or it's, I may not. Listen, you don't listen, know. but listen, yeah. it's, it's, it's okay. That you're just not sure about. It's yeah. okay for a man to marry young. It's, it's okay, okay. for a woman to marry young. Right. Right. No, but I'm saying the difference is because women mature. Faster yes. than men. Society no. says that, no. that right. is different. Yeah. Not all. I, I mean, I see you know, what you're saying. saying. I see what you're saying. saying. But, but it is different. It is different. Ageism is kind of like racism. Not racist. I'm talking about it's kind of like, I'm dumb mm-hmm. the only example I could use, but it's kind of like when you put these people that's in the age group. Yeah, it's like, like in a category. Women, all women, all women. Yeah. Right. And I had so um discriminated against a person of, you know, their age. Right. I, when I was in premarital counseling, we got counseling and, the, and we were 26 when we got married. The counselor said, be prepared for change. Y'all are only 26. You're going to change at 30. You're going to change at 35, 40. And you have, if you're willing to be married, you have to be willing to see this change. And you have to be willing to grow And with each other, right. And I see it in my husband every day. Not try to change the other person because you're changing at a faster. Right. You're 35, he's 25. What changes are you guys making together? You don't know. No, I'm just... But it doesn't mean you want to explain that. You understand how you as long as you understand how you change, how the dollar be on different levels. That's not necessarily on different levels. It depends on your life experience. You can have somebody that's eighteen and graduated high school and you can have somebody that's twenty five and they graduated from college at eighteen, they got their career going, they twenty one, they got their house, they got their kids, 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 they got their because it's they like, have been through a lot. Exactly. And, and they still ready to party. And now guess what? Y'all and have I'm kids. Too, like 37, no. guess what? I'm but now doing. y'all have kids. Jim, so you in the you in the mom state of mind. And now he's in the party state of mind. He's he both he's making money. You're generalizing a he whole He can still be in the I'm not. Right. You're he's generalizing a whole developmental mom. stage. I'm not. People Absolutely develop not. at different stages. So right. mm-hmm. yes, a lot of 25 year olds are at a party stage. They don't want kids. But what if he's not? Are you going to say, because I generalized this whole stage and because when I was 25, this is where I was, I'm not going to talk to him. You blocking your blessings. Maybe he's not there. Absolutely not. I'm exactly. not. I'm not saying. Try he's, it out. See I'm, what happens. See what he brings it to the table so you, before you look over. How many him times are you gonna 25. try it though? I'm, I'm gonna try that 25 year old out. Oh, I'm gonna see what he brings. I'm gonna see what he's talking about. I'm gonna analyze his movements, his motions, and his intent. You know, I don't know. You never know. Maybe he's not ready. 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 Maybe he's not ready.
Y'all is dumb and shit. Where his kids are right there? Where his kids are right there? He looked dumb as shit. He did. He did. Yeah. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. Let me, but but let me tell you, the same way a man would take a, a, a female that's insecure about herself, a woman would do the <laughs> same exact thing. He is 18, we're making money. Black China knows oh. how to manipulate men. She I had hate. fucking Rob looking like he was a slob. So she's my favorite she's Kardashian. manipulating this I love her. Come on, I'm you a know I'm a Black China fan. What? I'm not eating on that. You're not eating on that. She's doing what she needs to do. The bitch getting money. And she manipulating his young ass. Y'all. And he probably got a big dick too. No, but you just Y'all said, yelling too much. Who knows? Stop, 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 stop yelling so much. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> but nah, I don't know. I think they were all good points. <laughs> it is all good yeah. points. But you, I, I do think you have to go through it. Because I also get about not dating. Like, I haven't dated anybody that's younger than me at this age. I have. But. At, at 35, if me and Kimmy not together, Lord knows, I might finally have my whole stage in life. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be going through. Right. I don't know. I know I'm going to make sure I'm looking good. Don't but, you know, lesson. Lessons right. different packages. Don't let the pussy oh, speak for you. I'm sorry, but mm-hmm. my blo- my blessing going to be blocked because once somebody tells me the age, I'll be like, oh, thank you. No thanks. Thank but you. Maybe age, one, maybe maybe that is. Maybe. Maybe. And he keeps saying thank you. you. Maybe. Sorry. God ain't tell you what age she's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm just can't. not willing to take the. You, you, so you would take no. you would take them at fifteen if they right. Oh no. hell no! Because there's a lot of kids out here with the bomb ass <laughs> lemonade stands. Yeah, not past no. you. Yeah, that, 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 I'm that, that, he's grinding. That's not legal. Age. He's grinding though. He's grinding. Then you come and holler at me. He's mature than he. Oh, okay. You take your mature, you take your mature fifteen year, eight year old ass, and give me mm-hmm. about three more years, and then you come to mom. Mm-hmm. You come fifteen? To mom. Oh, you are very mature. You fifteen? You got about five more years, right. and then you can. What's that song? Up. And in about three years, holler at me. Five years. That was so much girl in the world. That crazy. Well, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I, don't know. Know. I was watching Jerry Springer earlier. Mm-hmm. Yes, I still watch Jerry Springer. And so each is that still the girl, on? the girl in Kentucky. Right. Yeah, right. The girl. Like, I was getting weeks. dressed and I was watching it. And um, <laughs> the girl from Kentucky, she was saying that she married her husband. He was sixteen and she was eighteen, and she had to like legally um get. Uh, not custody. Oh, it was custody. I think she used the word custody. She oh had to legally get custody of him because in Kentucky, even if you're married, you're not like a. It's not. It's not legal. Man. Until you know. So she had. She they had already married, and then once they found that out, she had to get custody of him. So since we, oh, um, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was, just, the I was so about to switch the topic. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Yeah, switch the topic in a second. But Baby. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Because that was in Kentucky. And you know, Kentucky is redneck city. So they doing all the cousins and... White people do different shit than, shit than what we do. Yeah. You always put somebody in a box. Uh, no. They do do different People need to be in a box. They should be on with them. I was out the box. Knock, knock, knock. Let no. me out. If you're white, you're in the fucking box. Black lives matter. Hello. What you mean? Black Hello. girls rock. This is girl series. We rock. Oh, we have all white shit. Get us off this topic. <laughs> so I just want to ask, since we keep talking about marriage and bringing marriage up and stuff, and since we're all women, what do you think it takes to be a good wife? Oh, fuck. Mm. Wait, wait. Let's 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 start <laughs> off by saying. And no, no. Okay, hold on. And since we do have two men in the room, no. even oh, no, though no, they're behind scenes, no, it's we, we, can't no, they, we, no. we can't get that. We we can't get their opinion. No. No. Okay, no. okay. No. Well, no. I asked the ladies, um, so it's well, they strictly the ladies. ladies. Yeah. Okay, they can yeah. answer. Ask the listeners. Are, aren't we calling them today? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. hi comment. listeners. Please, guys, feel well, free to. Call yeah. Them. What do y'all think? How about that? Um, but until somebody does call in, I'll start off by saying. It really depends. And I, you know how DJ Khaled was like, I got options because I pay the bills. So this is how I feel, Dead. right? Well, he got options on what? He got options on eating his wife's pussy. His wife is basic. Food. She's not eating her. Nobody wants basic, her. Thank basic, you. But he and is basic. basic. That stomach is huge, though. But anyway. <laughs> we're not <laughs> <with> the funny <laughs> tonight, though. 
It, it depends. Money because, you know, not. If I'm married, right, yeah. and I still got to pay half the bills, I got options. Okay? I got Man, options. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Uh, what, that what, means, what do you when, mean? When I say options? I have options, that means if it's Tuesday and I'm like, I'm not cooking tonight, baby, you need to cook. Then you need to cook because we're going to have on these bills. So we're going to have on dinner. We're going to have on picking up and dropping off kids. We're going to have on dinners. We're going If we're going to have, we're going to have. We not gonna be only half on bills, but I gotta put a hundred. So this is cleaning, what you think 100%. takes to be a good wife in the two thousands. That's, that's what happens, though. Is, you're very hostile yeah. right now. It depends on <laughs> what does. I'm not see, I don't think I would want to marry you right now. A lot of females <laughs> are letting their guy do absolutely nothing, but yet I'm gonna cook for you. I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna clean for you. That's true. So uh, man, uh, no, no, no. Are we talking about? Hold on. Hold on. But are we talking about enough. being a guy or being a husband? Because that was the question. A uh, husband. Well, the question was the husband. Husband. Right. What does it take but to be a good wife? But I'm talking about a wife, so we're not talking about that my depends. guy. We're talking my, about my, my husband. My point is that depends on what, how much of a good wife I am. Why am I cooking no. seven nights a week if I'm paying Absolutely not. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like that. I'm not paying all the bills. I mean, no. half the bills. I'm not going to be a hundred percent. So you're, you're not going to be a good wife if you're paying half the bills. Okay. So oh wow! Wow! You need to get a divorce. You're, 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 you're being mean. You're just being mean right I'm now. Not, no, no, it's too bad for her. I'm not too bad for her. It's very the bills. It's you're very angry. Cooking, I'm not trying to touch your butt. What's a good wife though? A good wife is 100 percent cleaning, 100 percent no, it's not. Care of the kids. It is not 100 percent cooking. That sounds like a gentleman. It is not. No, but that's what a wife does. A wife takes care of. A wife is. You want that to be your wife. If but, that's the kind of wife you want, like, right, you know, right. If you sign right. up for the, that's called a stepper wife. Of, whatever of you want, home. she'll do. Yes, a yes. stepper wife. Whatever yes. you want, she'll do. I think no, that's the kind of wife it is. To a husband, um, and I can be wrong because I've never been a wife and I never had a husband. But in my head, a good wife is supportive, um, both emotionally and mentally. A good wife has a, their husband's back. A good wife is a good partner. A good help me. Um, she picks up the pieces where wherever they should fall. Um, she is like she she holds the house up mentally and emotionally, and she expects him to hold the house up physically and also support her mentally and emotionally. Um, so, I, but he can't be emotional. No, he can't be. He can be. Yes, yes that's he not can what be. I said. A good wife is a good girlfriend. It's the same. Know. Well, no. it is. I, I disagree. It, a good said, wife is a good girlfriend. Listen, you don't like the things he's never going to like. No, let me explain. That's not true. That's no. not true. No. That is yeah, true. Yeah, that let me true. let me explain because I've been married for 15 years. Bring it down. Stacey was sucking a good, dick. She wouldn't have got that ring. No. A good <laughs> wife. <laughs> I don't know who Tracy is. I'm Tracy. Oh. <laughs> she, got, she got that ring because she wasn't sucking dick until she got married. And he said, shit, I'm going to see what that mouth be like. But that's what that ring is. Honestly, that's not what it is. Be like, but no, I agree. I do that's think not what it is. A good a wife is, is a good showing girlfriend. you good qualities of a wife, then he's going to put a he's ring gonna on He's going to marry you. Uh, so you do got to show you. a little bit of, don't give it all up, but you got to show a little bit of good From the two quality. people that are married here, a if good wife a good is a good girlfriend. Because you're not going to just Wait. give wifey qualities to somebody that's a boyfriend. Absolutely. Maturity, so mm-hmm. it's both ways. Absolutely. You got to be a girlfriend Submit as much as, right. submit right. as much of yourself as you're willing for him to submit to you. Like, it's 50 50. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We live together. We do everything together. Together. Right. Right. It's so not. So you, you think everything should be. I mean, y'all are yes. doing 50 50? Everything should be 50 50. Listen, in today's what age, time in, in time where we had to, is? like, in today's <laughs> age and time where we just, like, recently we had to vote against fucking, um, the, what's her name? Fucking. Right. Michelle, what was her name? Clinton. Clinton Hillary. It's fifty fifty. No, Michelle? no, because no. <laughs> I get your life. I'm drunk, sorry, but I'm just saying everything should be fifty fifty, and mm-hmm. life is fifty fifty. That's what a marriage like, is. Compromise. It's compromising. You have to give, it's give compromising. It to 
I never been a wife, so I'm not even gonna try to combat That's true. anything. That's but you're a good girlfriend. I never even think you're a girlfriend. I don't even think you gotta be a wife to know. So you would never be a wife. You don't, you, think you're a shit ass like you don't have to be a you're mother. You don't have to be a mother. Because there's a lot of people that's in unhappy marriages. So just because you get married doesn't even mean that you're happy. If she's saying that she's some shit as a girlfriend, it's because she probably doesn't want to be with you. When she wants to be with somebody, she's going to be a Show bomb ass that she want to be wise. So right. I, if, I, so, if, I, if, I, if I'm agreeing with her, like I'm going to be like, nah, if I don't want you to marry me, I'm going to be some shit until I figure out who I want <laughs> right. to marry. Or just and break up. I marry like, this I person, care. because this is the person I want to be happy with for the rest of my life. It's no, it's no divorce happening. Like, we are getting married, and bitch, you're stuck. In my case, I say bitch. You know, if it's not bitch, <laughs> right. I'm going to say nigga. But, but why bitch, you're stuck. Be, why he can't be a strong man? Strong man, a you're strong stuck. strong black okay. chocolate warrior. Strong, what sexy, bitch. kiki. You're stuck. Once this nigga gets a ring on it, it's a wrap. You can't. Yeah. So you hold on, I want to ask a question. You can't have condescending points, though. I, mean, I, don't I, don't I don't need no big At no call, what if it's something no. terrible? No. Somebody's getting abused? <laughs> no. In no. abusive relationships, physical abusive relationships, okay. But if you if he cussing at you, cussing his ass back. I agree. But if he hitting you, no, leave the situation. It's but, sometimes verbal but cuss at you, cuss at his ass. Cuss at his ass back. Cuss at his ass back. He be like, bitch, you be like, bitch. No. No. I don't think you I don't think you got to go. No, 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 I know. That's word. That's yeah. Yeah. And you, if you think it's just yeah, for you, how you think I'm a man feels when you call him a bitch? I don't call him that bitch. We can, we okay, can but if he calls you one, you call him one because you know how sensitive no, you are. No, if you call me a bitch, we over. I can't do you. No. But let's okay. bring it back anyway, to reality that because, because that's example. not, yeah, I'm about to say, bitch. that's not going to yeah, destroy a relationship saying. for you. Yeah. Like yeah. the things that would destroy a relationship for you are what? It wasn't, it won't be because he called you a bitch. Or because no. I would say I just physical, threw that out there, physical right? Physical I say abuse. abuse and period. if they if they can't stay financially stable, that would that wouldn't be divorce. That's for called me. I thick and you, thin. I would give yeah. you. Did you no, see the new Tyler Perry how, movie? You see how those the only two things that I would possibly I get a divorce that. for? You Otherwise, didn't see it. We are staying married. Tyler Perry is full of shit. He is full of shit. Um, but he brings call. things into perspective. For you, it is, it is shit, though. Financial stuff is but. the number one cause of divorce. Yeah. Number one because one person feels so stressed. Probably, I don't know what be the, what would be the breaking point for me because I have been in relationships where I just didn't want to be in a relationship. You know, right? so you I, know. Don't, I, I don't know. You do I know. really don't because none of it broke the relationship and none of it, like none of it. Did. But once you I get married, like marriage, you, marriage may be a different thing. Our worth. Now we know right. our worth. Right. So you, I think you would see a situation and be like, "I'm not in it." Like, you're right. like I, your current kind of situation, you're like, "I would never marry this situation." But that's because I was. I, don't, I think it was a love thing. I think when love gets in the midst of it, it's like you be like, "I ain't gonna deal with that shit." It's a whole but when headache. You love, you're like, mm-hmm. It's harder. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't want right. to deal with that shit, but fuck, I love him. What I'm supposed yeah. to do? You know, burst it. Yeah, you're supposed to make yourself you're not happy. being in like. But when you in love, you kind of lose yourself. You don't yourself see it. Bit. You don't, yeah, you don't you see it. You lose some yourself of the in that love because that love is so emo- so strong and emotional. It's like, you can be unhappy all day, but because you love him, it's you like, you're happy. that strong feeling, it takes, just, over. It takes over everything. Yeah. It blinds you, really. It, blind, it takes over your brain and everything. I, I definitely been there. Okay. Girl, I'm drinking. Blinded by love in a whole shithole. Mm, the sad yeah. part is that you've been taking it and doing it. Except the marriage. And you pulling yourself out. Yeah. But he already out the hole. You you but, feel like there's a shit in your mouth. Right. <laughs> Listen, like I said, so I think with women is that we have to know our worth. Like men know their worth and they're like, like men could be like, I'm not dating that girl because she fat. I'm just throwing it, um, you know, an example out there. Mm-hmm. But women would be like, oh, you know what? I can get him to lose weight. I'll change him. I'll mold him. him. Right. I'll so it's change. like I'll we have to. Man. Huh? That's because it's two women to every one man. Okay. But, but uh, you know, I heard something recently. I, well, I, well, no, I, I think I, they start talking about jails and stuff. A lot of people are men are in jails. It is two women, not just because of jails. It's not just because of race, but it's it's. More women on the earth, earth than it is men. But men are dying faster and still men are locked up. There's still a man out here that will worship the ground you walk on. Oh, exactly. Don't fight with this bitch over it's this a bitch. Why this nigga over here is crawling on his fans? Oh, 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 nobody's willing to share. Oh, my God. Bring it down. Where do you come from?
from? You know, I would be a sister. You will not. Why the fuck you won't. You won't. Let me. I don't got to work. Listen, man. He opened my sister. I'm like, no, not at your house. In your house. No, can I just ask you a question? No, no, my comment is quick. You would not be a sister wife because you said you would not have a decent with somebody you love. So I know you would not. Okay, maybe not. Let me ask you. Why you not love him? Let me ask you. Because it's a business. It's a business. Marriage is not just based on love. Marriage is based on stability. But you should be married. Marriage is based on partnerships. It should be love. It should be love. I know. No, I agree. First of all, marriage is not based on stability to pick it then. But let me just ask you a question. If you want to be a sister wife, right? Tonight is not your night. Tonight is not your night. Tonight is my night. To go in and fuck him, yes. and I'm screaming my head off. Yes. that is okay with you? Yes, it's Come on, you it's got to be it's shitting me. Night, you night. are crazy. So what would you say? No, it's okay. So what would be your no. benefit out of that marriage? My benefit out of the marriage would be that I we know where our husband is. It don't have to be two of us. Shit could be four of us. If you want to bring another wow. woman in, then we can we can interview her. We don't got to worry about babysitters because our motherfucking sister wife got our kids. Everybody it's not a merge, it's a cult. It's a, yeah, it yeah. is a cult. Thank you. It's a cult. No, it's a cult. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a Guess what? Guess what, Kia? Guess what, Kia? Our husband is cheating on our husband is cheating then on us. we need us. to go find this bitch to see if she going to come into our business what? or, or she, she will just stay out. Because, bitch, if you want to fuck what? our husband, you need to, call, you need to come watch these motherfucking kids. So because we need to get together. Wait, this is not together. No. You fucking out this bitch. You need to come no. watch my right ass. Right? Because tonight I got to go. I, I got to go somewhere. And when you go there, what did you go for? Listen, bitch. Are you going to have no Sunday today? Listen, going out. Bitch, are you cooking dinner tonight? Because if you want to fuck a business. Husband, That's a business. You need to that's, figure out what your role is going to be in this family. Goddamn. That's a business. I'm not sure my husband. Okay. I don't get it's too many STDs out here. I ain't got time. I know she got the rent and she got the leg. At this point, you I don't feel like where I am in my head. I feel like all men cheat, and I don't know. Oh, you finally oh, agree with me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like so, we got so far from the question. <laughs> everybody didn't answer you the question. There's a reason for saying that. Wait, what's the bitch? Either way, you uh, guys are not. Uh, hey, thank uh, you. Uh, no, goodbye. This is no, not no, a deal. No. We're not doing jail. So, wait, that's why it goes all the way I'm back go to you saying dance. that you would talk to somebody 10 years younger than you. Because Nothing now, if you listen that. to everything you say all the way up to you being a sister wife, mm -hmm. you will accept all that shit. You accept yeah. all the bullshit. Because it's saying for the same thing. No, 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 that's, that's not what it's saying. It's saying that you my standards that are different than your standards. No. And what you may think is bullshit no. may not be what I All of us do have different standards. No. It's certain levels. shit that I would not accept. I agree. Accept. And, and I'm it's not shit that I would accept. Who won't you accept? Because you just accept me fucking your man in the next room. And I'm screaming. Let me add, I'm screaming. Let me answer. Answer. No. Let me answer. Answer. Okay, go ahead. I will, I will not accept you fucking calling me out my name or beating my ass. Well, I'm not finished. Oh, this is not, you. Let me talk. I let you talk. It's oh. my time. Another okay. thing that I will not accept is you not motherfucking taking care of these motherfucking bills, nigga. You need to provide. We okay. not accepting not that. Not him, me. If you can, no, me. him. Him. Me. My man. Me him, my him. him. Or your man. Our man needs to provide oh, our man. for us. Uh -huh. I'm just or, or my 25-year-old man uh -huh. needs to provide for me. So that not being able to provide thing is a, is a um, thing that I will not accept. Other shit like um like cheating, having an extra bitch. We can have an extra, extra bitch. bitch. You gonna have one anyway. Bring that bitch. I'm gonna make you have one. Bring that bitch to me. But and let me I'm, I'm with that, and we're and just like all be free. Right? Because I'm not that one. My husband. Certain shit can be like that. Like you know, 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 like you
that no, bullshit. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Would you accept this bullshit or would I accept this exactly. bullshit? I just asked, what are your standards? No, you and said, your standards. No, I was saying, okay. you said that explains why you would date a 25 year old because you accept from the all the way up. But, but you and and all the way up, so. though. <laughs> the thing is, I don't consider Chrissy, that bullshit. Chrissy, are you I consider that. Heart? Normal shit okay. that women blind themselves so, to and, and trick themselves into thinking that the shit isn't happening and it really fucking is. Okay, I'm just a realist. Kitty, kitty, let me let me jump Enjoy in. Enjoy your so, life. I don't want to tell you to come think apart. That all men cheat. That's I don't think all men cheat. I don't think that's it at all. However, however, if I agree with Kitty, if if you're gonna be fucking with this girl, let me meet her. Don't have us beefing because we can all have fun. We can split these bills three um, ways. Um, you can be with these shit, huh? I don't even know what the right, first of all. I need you to just tell me. First of like, all, I might be attracted to the bitch too. I'm like, saying. tell me, me so we can all have fun. I you agree with that. Have, so we can have this whole. I, I agree. And to, to a certain extent, I need to write to a certain extent. Like, I'm like, yo, bitch, where you come from? And he, she, like, yeah, I've been fucking him. Nigga, why you ain't? Because no, I would never get Reese. mad at the bitch. Uh, I'm always going to take it out on that person. What is that the, person has going First of all, you can tell me money. about the girl, like, hey, this is the girl, she going to come in here with us. But you ain't going to be fucking up with her, having a whole fucking relationship. relationship. No, you're going to have yes. fun with her and then let her go. Yeah. yeah. So, so my question is, hold on. No. Hold on. If you love her, then you need to be with me. He love me, too. Come on. No. No way. Are we girlfriends? I'm about to say, I love her. Are we girlfriends right now or are we wives? What are you? Thank you. Because I'm not doing wait, that shit with my minute. husband. Wait, That's all I'm saying. That's I'm all I'm saying. So, so my question, question is. But wait, I would do that with my boyfriend or with my husband. But okay. we not about to have a whole fucking sister wife. Exactly. Been fucking girl, we was this marriage that, built on that? Because if we, we not took a vow to be with each other, we no. are going to agree we're going to on what her. we want. Whatever we want to call her. Or, it doesn't even have to be her. It could be it could be them. So, Whichever one we want tonight. But what we're not going to do is have no fucking living in fucking shit. Like, no, we, no, no. She's going to be just for the night. She's going to be for the night. Let's call her up. We're going to have some fun. And she got to get on with it. You guys should not raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> no, right. I'm not going to forget what My hands were raised. So my question is, are we raising thoughts? Are we raising women? Are we raising strong women mm-hmm. to make our men strong mm-hmm. so that we can have a strong family? Mm-hmm. Okay, so or are we raising... Take turns, wait, exactly. No, us as people, though. I'm not, I'm not raising my, up nobody. Okay, so my this, question today is: <laughs> You are. You said, are we with? I'm raising No, I, I, I guess I got a question. Why question? Why Go ahead. And that's fine. The fall on the black woman. Why should the black woman have to She said, are, are we women? raising Who raised strong you? women? This is what she said. Come on. Are we raising yes. strong Perfect. women to Come raise on. strong mm. men? But why are the That's women? What she said. I, I don't want to be strong. I want to be soft. You I'm a be woman. I, I want to be soft. I want my man to be strong. No, no, no. So I it's agree. like, yeah. no, I'm okay. not. But that wasn't my answer. I'm not asking you to raise a strong woman. Maybe I said it absolutely wrong. No, I got you. Let, I got you maybe said. I said it wrong because we're not raising men. We're strong women. So when you when you think about it, when you absolutely think about it, you think about your grandmother. You, the mother before her, you think about your mother, and you think about yourself. Come on. You have to be a, a strong woman. This is, this, this, this podcast right now is about women, right? right. And that's being strong. Right. Not about us being thoughts and, and doing this and doing that. You, you have to have, to, no, I'm okay, not, go I'm ahead. Next. First I'm of all, you need to, thoughts. you need to operationally define what a thought is, first of all. And we know it's that hole over there. Okay. But what is the difference between a strong woman uh-huh. and a thought? And what makes her less stronger than you are? Okay. What makes I don't I don't know what What's her criteria whore? What's is. What's a whore? I mean what because okay. that's what a thought is. Right? A whore is yeah. a whore is when you introducing your child to a whole bunch of different people. Mm-hmm. When you out here when you can't even see your child because you Oh, baby, I'll be right back. I'm about mm-hmm. to go do this. Mm-hmm. That's a thought. When you with your child, you happen with the homework mm-hmm. and you're doing this and you're providing mm-hmm. and you're showing your child happiness. That's not like being a thought for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not out in the world, so I can't mm-hmm. explain everything that 
No, everybody else yeah, probably no. could. Yeah. I'm gonna be too, I'm gonna but be one minute, I swear to goodness, I swear <laughs> to goodness. So when I left out the house, I said, "Nah, I'm going to do the podcast. I'll be back." That's leaving my child. When I go to work, I'm like, "Naya, I'm going to work." That's leaving my child. She, but you no, she's not talking about full work. I'm not talking about I those to, things. Is this work? Or is this pleasure? This is something fun that I came to do for ladies. It's some work. Because yeah. I like it's, because she knows like because she's doing something positive. I, I, I made myself. It doesn't matter. Listen. You didn't say it had to be something positive. You so, said so, if I'm so leaving out and I was that like, leave their I'll women or introduce their, their kids to different um to different men, they are not strong women. Not at all. Let me just expl- let me just say this one thing to you. I am not here to preach the Bible to anybody because okay. I don't because I, I don't know it. But so no, absolutely not. I'm just saying, live your life, do what you do. Just make sure you're a strong woman and make sure you're influence. Even at the grocery store, make sure you're influence on whatever child that you walk upon because you are a woman. You are a you're black a woman, woman and that's it. Whatever you decide to do with your life, do that. I, I, need I, don't that. I don't need to smoke. But- <laughs> I feel like it's different. I don't know what I want to say. Strengths mm. to being a woman, mm-hmm. yeah. and there's not one so, definition. I feel and like for my kids, born, it doesn't make her any less strong. I feel yeah. like for my kids, I, I absolutely, I'm you strong know what all day. You know what she did for what she for did my for children, yeah, for my children, I want I want to be strong. You know, I gotta put food on the table if I have to. If I'm not having yeah, help, yeah. I gotta enroll them in school. I gotta find a good school. I gotta find a good daycare. I have to keep a car. Like all of that, and some people but say you might get ever cheated in a for my man and for my husband, I want to be solved. I think it depends on how you define it. Personally, I feel like I I'm not a a traditional type of person, and I don't think that anybody gets to say what is better than the other. Because you just never know. And I think it's probably because of what I do, but you just never know what is happening on that other side that you're saying that that person <coughs> is not fit, not equipped, not this, not that. Like, you don't know what the fuck is going on in the midst of that situation to see how really strong he or she is. <laughs> well, I'm going to be I know. No. I was, was going to say, I actually know a couple of... Chrissy. <laughs> I actually know... <laughs> A couple of people she that was that was pretty much whores in high really? school. That was those whores are married now. Everybody has a past. Everybody has everybody a has a past. Every everybody has and, something. And, and you know, and like I said, some people think that if you keep one time in a relationship, you're a whore. I don't think that. And then what I was going to say a, a few a few minutes ago, when nobody let me talk, to I was going to say. Um, some people, y'all, y'all all need to look at, it was on Showtime about, mm-hmm. it was on Showtime when I was talking to Jamie, so I don't remember. I mean, some people say something they can say, but Jamie, Jamie, I'm fucking cutting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I, I definitely feel you. Don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> however, um, I was going to say, you, it was on Showtime a, a couple years ago, but you guys might can't be able to um, on demand it, but it's called Polly or Polly mm-hmm, or something mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty much, I, to, to my knowledge, you know, like I said, it's two years ago, so I don't remember. It was a, a married couple that had a girlfriend, mm-hmm. and then it was a married couple that had another married couple as a couple, mm-hmm. and they were all living together with their kids. Mm-hmm. The kids were never on ca- mm-hmm. camera. But like it all works and it doesn't make them bored. If that's your lifestyle, that's right. your life if that's your lifestyle, but to be that if said, that's your lifestyle, it's poor. She, no, and no, she did say, she did, did. did say, it's yeah. lifestyle. I see what she if said. If that's your it lifestyle, is, I mean, it does depend. I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm a married woman, but I right. get whatever you you want to do with your life, baby. That's you. Be Thank happy. you. But yeah, me, traditionally. I, I signed up it. to be married to you. Traditionally, yes. us two. Oh, if you decide right. to ask somebody in this, right. fine. If not, I'm not, bitch, I'm not stay away. I'm not traditional like, we, we can have no, 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 no. No, I said, no but listen, I said I'm traditional, I'm traditional I'm but we can both. add people but maybe y'all are traditional later. because y'all are married. Maybe if y'all was us right now, y'all would technically be no. single, but... Uh-huh. Y'all. Then you would have but a no, 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 no,
I Other than you, that, I can yeah. teach you how to If you decide to marry your girl, right? If you girl, right? she, she say, say to you, girl. hey, baby, I want to ask somebody else into our situation. She's going to be so with the shit. So I'm going to be so with the shit. I'm going to ask somebody else to our situation. And then I'm, apart I'm from like, baby, let me okay. see what she looks like. No, no, no. Ugly. We gotta put this bitch together. Okay, and I gotta see her put hey, I can see, wait. first of all, my and my, my, my ass is are fucking terrible oh. looking. So I need mm. to see these bitches. So let me just I'm, I'm coming to sandwich. you as her. <laughs> and aside from me adding her to our situation, she gonna live with us. She got like two kids. <laughs> Have y'all ever lived with okay. another First woman? All, they have, I'm come not. on. First come of on. all, as long as you agree on shit you never done before. Man. You can agree on shit you never done before. This is what I'm saying. Have to, to, to bring to the table. If you can take care of me, my kids, her, and her kids, nigga, because you got it like that. Okay, okay. first and foremost. You've been there. I'm going to ask the question. You know, but I will. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm saying. You can't speak on that. Let me ask you. That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay. Okay. First and foremost, I don't date people with kids. So if she have a child, you automatically are out of the equation. Whether I pick oh, them you or did. you pick them. Mm-hmm. I don't date people with kids. So, Wait, that's baby. a ball. I was yeah. about to say that Thank too. You. No kids. That's a ball. Is you right. Everybody has their own family. Everybody's entitled to their family. I know. I and that's okay. okay. I know. I know my standards. No. I know my exactly. standards. My standards is I'm not dating you if you have a and child. That's your and I'm saying because you said she was putting in boxes, so now you put in boxes. That's all I'm saying. So no, y'all no, might be. No, and you said no, missing blessings no, earlier, so now y'all you putting in boxes. That's all. That's all I love about these married women because we stick together. Let me say this. We know what it's about. I said, don't block your blessing by generalizing a whole age group. That's what I said. But that's still putting something in the box. That's the difference. And that's okay though. I'm not saying that you have to wrong. I have to support the fact that you have to support the I, that's that's not, that's that's not, I know my man, work, and I'm not taking care of somebody yeah, yeah. else's. Somebody else. Now you want to hear the conversation? Kids, y'all unless they, in they come in together. the same age as my child, I can't date you. If they're younger than my child, I cannot date you. That's my preference. And that's that's okay. my. That's that's right. how I feel. That's okay. So you know, if you're trying to move in your kids, absolutely not. Why? But if he's trying, if it, not gonna say he is, she's trying to move in another bitch. Who's that bitch here? Oh, Who's yeah. I got the wetness in the That's best pussy. Your she man want me. Who can have right. three kids? Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Tag. Tag. Thank you. <laughs> what we not gonna do is, is, is we ain't doing no kids, okay? We doing kids. We gotta pick somebody that ain't got no damn kids. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. If the girl gotta move in, she going through some hard times or whatever, she gotta move in, she can't have no damn kids. Yeah. But what if you got kids? She I take them. Them. Then you can deal with that, or you cannot deal with that. That means she's not all together. My preference is to not deal with that. She's not all together. We're not together. taking on baggage. We're not she taking on baggage. She got to move baggage. We're not together. A no. single no. female no that has her shit together is not going to move into no situation. So I'm saying if she was, if she, if was in need. True. If she was in need, I would. I would move it. I'm single. I got my shit together. And, you, and if this nigga got enough brain to take care of me. And you making right over 70. I'm let's coming. just say. I'm coming over there. And let's just say. Well, let's just say. Well, no. In Africa, I cannot break my girlfriend too. Sometimes in the African culture, they do. It's called a collectivism. And it's an African do it. it was never meant for one man and one female to well, be together. That's not and even it's what? It's never meant for one what is your religion? religion? What is your religion? I'm a Christian. No. I'm a religious it, person. That came it was from men. They did that so that they could choose and pick who they get to choose. Women, we are the ones that pick and choose who we want, and we Bless can have you. multiple partners. Men flip that shit. It was never meant. That just that's just not natural. Men should have multiple wives. And so, can we know. have multiple husbands? I'm with that too. I'm with it. I'm um, with that. I talk so your reason would consist of two oh. dudes, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Your threesome should consist of two dudes. No, I'm saying that. I don't want two niggas in my vagina at once. That's what one I'm in saying. your ass and one in your no, vagina. No, it's gonna be one in your mouth or one in your one ass. in your mouth, one in your, one one in your, one in your vagina or one in your one in your, your ear, one, one in your fucking hand. What do you mean? I'm with it too. I'm with this shit. Because if you accept it, once, you really accept it of all of it. I'm with that shit though. I'm with that shit. I mean, none of them. I'm not about to be like with none of them, but. So many hoes stretch at one time. That shit is going up. Do you? Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I tried did. it, but I ain't against it. I'm, just, I, I'm not going to do it with you guys. I'm not, not at once. Maybe in a couple minutes. 
My vagina is too sensitive. I don't got no time for two dicks. No. I like my pussy like gets tired sometimes. No. <laughs> no. And, that, and that's the thing I can't say about the multiple, you know, families in one household. Because who's that recently? Kevin Hart's ex-wife recently made a statement saying, I'm okay with my man. I got to be the main. But I'm okay with my man having multiple women as long as I'm the man. I just can't be a side job. Like, She's saying, I, I, yeah, and I get I'm, that. I'm tired. I don't want to suck your dick tonight. I don't want to wash the dishes. Um, I, I would collect So bring that bitch in here. I don't know. And That's what she said, but it's because she's been in that kind of relationship this, before. Just imagine three real-time households in we the home. The, no. the fucking possibilities is like unlimitless. She not living with us. And with my pussy tied, right. my mouth still gonna work. My mouth don't get tied. I mean, my jaw my might mouth get locked. Yeah, my, my mouth get tied. My mouth get tied. My mouth get stuck open sometimes. This part. <laughs> this part. Right? Don't take my jaw so my and mouth can close. And then when they get that strong thing right there because you done had it up for too long, yeah, oh. my mouth get tied. Let me ask you a question. Are you in a relationship right now? Mm. Situationship, maybe? Am I in a relationship? They gonna get married. I don't know what I'm in. Oh, he probably thinks we're in a relationship. So what do they you think? Relationship. What do you do think? You tell because her? you had a strong opinion about everything. What do you think about your situation right now? She I said that she's going to marry him. No, okay. no, I'm not going to answer this question. Mm-hmm. So I am in a um. I don't say. Oh, that's not here. <laughs> How did that happen? I am in. I don't know what the fuck. I'm he probably thinks we're in a relationship. Um, I don't. I wouldn't consider it a relationship because I'm not all in. Mm-hmm. I'm like one foot in, one foot out. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense mm-hmm. at all. Um, but I'm a very honest person, so mm-hmm. I make everything known up front. What I'm doing, who I'm doing, what's going on. Mm-hmm. And he accepts that. That's on him. However, <laughs> I um, totally agree. Recently, I was in a very serious near death situation, and the first thing that came to my head was. I probably shouldn't marry um, this yeah. person. That's and, and I was about to die. So in my head, I'm like, "Fuck, I should probably marry." You should person. marry him. Yeah. yeah that, sure. So so in the, and so when I'm explaining this to you, because you asked me, so I'm, I'm I'm answering your question. I don't know what I'm in right now. I don't know if I don't know if I am committed. I don't know if I You am. are committed because you're not talking to nobody else. But that's not by... But that's a personal choice. Yeah, that's, that's not... not that's, that's not, not because, like you know... After that's because I'm not committed. I'm not committed. Is it, that's because, is that's it because not, he's not submitting to your standard? very submissive. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and she doesn't it. want submissive. Okay. That's her thing. She doesn't, oh, you she don't want it now. I never wanted a submissive person. Oh. Did you think what I was saying to think that I wanted a submissive person? No, go ahead. I don't want a submissive person. But what I'm saying is... I don't know what I'm in right now. I don't know if that's what I want. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to marry him or not. I know I have very strong feelings for him and I do love him as a person, but I don't know if we're going to be together for, for reason. So like those, that, that, uh, that providing thing, that shit's big for me. So when I say accept certain things, I just don't know where it's going to lead to. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm 28 years old and I don't have, um, I don't have to make a decision right now. and I don't have to commit to one person right now. I can date. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I make my own money. I pay my own bills and I take care of my kids. So I can fuck who I want as many as I want. I can go where I please. I can be in a relationship. I can't be. I'm an honest person. And it's up to whoever the person on the other side is to accept it or not accept it. And I give them that choice. So that's where I am. So, you know, I actually read that and it was something and it was pretty much saying, like, if you're 30, don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to get back in school. Don't be afraid to get a divorce and start over again. Don't be afraid to have a child. Because a lot of us, we turn 30 or we get 29 in my case. And it's like, oh, shit, like my life is flashing before me. And I don't I'm not where I want to be. You know, know you're too hard on yourself. Exactly. So, so that's the thing. Lives. We have to learn that it's okay to be thirty and be single. It's okay to be thirty and not yeah. have children. It's okay, it's okay, okay to be married. It's okay to be thirty and be married. Okay. It's okay to be thirty and not in your career. It's okay, okay to be thirty and okay. in your career. It doesn't. You whores, I'm talking. Um, it's okay to be at a certain age and want to to either be where you are or not be where you are. It's okay to be 30 and be like, you know what? I'm leaving this relationship because I want to travel the world and then I want to get married. 
it's okay. All that and okay. thirty years old doesn't mean that we're we're in, in our, our lives. older, you know. You know, when we were when we was fifteen, it was like shit. Thirty is old, but now now that I'm almost thirty, I'm like shit. I'm young. I got a twelve year old. In a few years, five years, this girl's gonna be going off to college. I'm gonna get my fucking groove back. I see this shit, and I'm gonna be in my relationship, hopefully married to Kiki by then, getting my fucking groove back. We gonna be getting our groove back. Y'all will see us in the motherfucking beaches in a different country. Like damn, because I didn't get to do all the shit I wanted to do because don't I had my it. child young. <laughs> or just don't fall off. You know, just, don't get on the back. Don't, don't fall off. Don't <laughs> fall off. Um. But yeah, you know, so I'm not going to limit myself to be like, when I'm 35, I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that. Because when I'm 35, I'm going to have an 18-year-old gone to college. And now I'm not going to say I don't have no responsibility. But the thing is, whenever, whenever it's just like, oh, mommy, it's spring break. Where you at? Oh, boo, I'm in Africa. I'm about to buy you a ticket. I, I want to be that type of parent or not that type of parent, but that type of person to be like, I'm not limiting myself to anything at any age. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't care if I buy my house at 40. I wanted to buy my house two years ago. I did not. It's okay. Am I going to be hard on myself? No, the fuck I'm not. Because guess what? I still got money saved up for my house. I'm working on my credit for my house. Like, so should I be mad that I don't have my house? Absolutely fucking not. This generation is too focused on following everybody else. You you should have your shit together. No, the fuck I shouldn't. I should be in Kiara stage right now. We graduated high school. I'm talking about career wise. Career wise. We graduated high school at the same fucking time. I am in for my undergrad. She is in for her graduate. Do I fucking care? No, I don't. Absolutely fucking not. And at first, I need you to move back to him. At first, I was definitely like, damn, you know, all my friends got their degrees already. Like, I'm in this place. And then, me and Kiki opened up a business together. So, so you doing better than not some of us. They got oh, I'm not doing. I am saying okay. I, I think we're all doing. We all great. doing different things. Yeah, we're all doing great at different ages. But so you know, fun. like yeah. I'm not going to stress about anything mm-hmm. because age ain't shit but a number. Age I'm going to look like I'm 25 for the rest of my fucking life when I'm 60. I'm going to be shitting on you 25 year olds. <laughs> Mark my word. I think that at least what you're saying is like directly on point, but it's not just about being hard on yourself. I think that people in general just get so wrapped up in standards and they do. and, and um, traditions yeah. and where you should be and how you should talk and what a good wife yeah. is and what a good husband is and what a strong woman is and what, you know, where you are in your life right now is great. You are present. Be present in it, live in it and live from it. And then you go to the next level and don't, don't compare yourself to, to other, to other shit. people. To other and people and to and or what they're doing, this person, this company. I think that even like as far as even the social media thing, I think as millennials, we get so wrapped up in what everybody is doing to the point where, and I just realized this because I lost my phone for like five goddamn days, and I was like, "Fuck, don't nobody know what I'm doing. I can't take pictures. I'm on this beach. Can't nobody see me. I got this baby suit on. Can't nobody see me." And I just had to come to a realization that I'm like. Forcefully trying to impress other people that don't know what the fuck is going on with me. And the only reason that I'm trying to do that is because I'm comparing myself to them. And you can't do that. Absolutely. Fuck standards. Absolutely. Fuck tradition. Live in your moment. Be present and Absolutely. be great and be happy because don't nobody got shit to do with what you got going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy really about care. that? They're they hating to be honest. Right. The people that right. are following you are really your hate. Right. Yeah. Right. People, so you purposely that. trying to be happy. Right. Right. People I know don't even like my pictures. And I be like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. But anyway, what I was going to say is like about the social media thing. We do get wrapped up in this whole social media thing because I noticed this, and this past week has been different. But this past week, I've, I've been waking up and I meditate. Normally, I wake up and I sit on the toilet and I'm on social media. Mm-hmm. Because I want to see what people did overnight because I'm fucking bored. And I want to see what you did overnight because right. maybe you did something fun, fun I that right. I can see and be like, oh shit, look what this person did. Yeah. But no, lately I've been waking up and I've been meditating in the morning. You got to take so, a step back from it. We do. And I was going to say, you say you say that we're, we're like aging up or we're leveling up. Mm-hmm. That was my level up this mm-hmm. week. And, and it's going to continue to happen because 
Yeah, it's it been so much. I had a rough week, y'all. Lucky we ain't do check ins. I've been going for like thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I had I had one of those weeks <laughs> where it was like, what the fuck? Uh-oh. It was like, what the fuck? So it's kind of like you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm happy that I woke up and I meditated every every morning this week because had I not, y'all would have got the main race today. Y'all would have got the main race. Y'all got the tired, mean, mad ass reeks. I was gonna curse your ass out. And that's fine. <laughs> that's all you said. That's all you said. I didn't know what you but... was bringing tonight, bitch. I was right. <laughs> no, but see, you can tell when I'm in a better space. And I'm in a better space right now. I'm trying to make it work with Kiki. I'm trying to make it work with school. I'm trying to make it work with everything. Like earlier this week, me and Ronnie went to my school. I had to see my advisor so she could put me into this class. This is all subject, but. And it's not a check-in. But um, she, when I when I dropped out of school in 2011, I had flunked two semesters in a row. Two semesters in a row. I waste my time and my money. But um, they told me if I get if I get at least a 2.0 this semester, you can I, can, back. I can get my financial aid back. I won't be on financial, uh, you know, I won't be on academic probation and stuff. So I went to see my advisor. What was it? Wednesday. I went to see my advisor. Ronnie took me. And... The first thing she says without even looking, like she's like, your account is frozen because you didn't make a, you made a 1.8, you didn't make a 2.0 this semester. Mind y'all, one of my grades wasn't in. I got to be in that class that took me over my two, my 2.0. Like I said, I fell out, I flunked out two semesters in a row. So that's why my grade was so low for so many Fs on my transcript. But she should, what should have happened was she should have been like, Yo, your last grade didn't come in. Right now you're at 2.8. Let's see what your grade is like. This bitch told me to drop my next semester classes. Mm. Y'all, I'm going to complain on her. This is an advisor? An advisor. Oh. She, what she should have said was your next grade, I mean, your last grade is not in, so we have no idea what your GPA is going to be. Let's wait until this last grade come in. I did good this semester, y'all. I didn't really fucking good. I got, I got good enough to give me a 2.2. So even though I still have F's on uh, my cumulative two point two, yes. Okay. So even though I still have F's on my my transcript, I'm going to get them gone. Mm-hmm. But just right now, I had to retake some of those classes to get my GPA up, so I can get off academic probation. Mm-hmm. So um, Damn. so um, yeah. Camera. It's it's just, the it's just crazy that, like I said, it's, it's people out here that's just like, oh, your age is just like, you know, fuck it. No. No. Mm-mm. Who said that? Yeah. Every society. Society, society. said that. Society the, says I should have had my... Statistics. Statistics. Right. I should have had my... A 70-year-old graduated with me. It's okay. I was about to say. 70, a 70-year-old 70 graduated with me with my bachelor's. You are, you are downing yourself. I am down to myself because and, I do, and, and I and do feel like I should have had side. my. You're right. It's you're okay. right. Mm-hmm. I do feel like I should have had my degree a couple of years ago. Like I said, me and you graduated together. Why didn't I have? We're we're going for the same fucking thing. By the time I graduate, she gonna be there have so many pools that she gonna be like, put this out. And guess what? I'm gonna be mm-hmm. like. like I'm going to have my own shit, and I'm going to be like, you just graduated. Let's go. Let's it's okay. Yes. It's and I'm going to be like, it's happening. It's, it's okay. going down. That's, it's okay. Chrissy, like, do you trust me? I know. People won't compare. It is what it is. Yeah, but, you know, it wasn't my time. And then even, even when it happened with my advisor, I got my grade the next day for the following class I was waiting on. And with the with the whole advisor thing, like I, I when I got in the car with Ronnie, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to church. I said, if it's not meant for me to do some kind of social work, it's not meant to be. I was like, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to get mad. That's and what I, I did when I was in that ocean. <laughs> I was like, listen, Jesus, if it's meant for me to die, it's meant for me to die. I'm right. okay with it. I I'm just okay. I'm I know I'm going to die. And that's not what it is, though. And then Jesus said, that's not what I got to do. Right. So that party was the same day. That party was the same exact day, same exact time. So why she's like, if it's meant for me to die, I'm like, if it's meant for me to graduate, because I already already got the free money. I have a scholarship for the rest of the time I'm in school. That's not the issue. The issue becomes, the issue, school is so expensive. But the issue becomes when it's like, 
you know, why why is my advisor not doing a fucking job? Yeah. No, you need to go to that bitch and you need to take that grade. You need to say Oh, no. I emailed her. I emailed her. I emailed her the same day I got that grade. And I was like, hey, you told me to drop my classes, but I passed my class. I got a two point two now. Put me in my math class. Thank you. No, I And she that still bitch. hadn't emailed me back. No, because you need to go to that bitch. You need to say Mr. you miserable bitty bitch. Okay. Right. Can we um switch it up a little bit? The fuck? Yeah, let's switch it up because I'm getting mad now. Yeah, exactly. I'm real right. 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 Because I think it's crazy that we don't want to help each other. Yeah. We should help each other. I had the opposite experience at UBC. That was the best education I ever got in my life. I went to Norfolk State for three whole years and I don't even remember a whole damn well, professor name. I didn't go to school. Well, I did, but anyway, let's skip the subject. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That was rude. Hey, um, it's okay, man. You already been done in my school. I'm sure I'm not wasting money on school. Why Me think, too. Why do you think I got that scholarship? If I ain't had that scholarship, I would not be getting the degree. Point blank, yeah. period. But, Brian, let's go ahead and switch it. Okay, so. I got a question, y'all. So when you first start talking to a guy, well, in your case, uh, a, girl. a girl, and you can just do hypothetical, you've been with your guy, girl. Thing. This is just the best shit ever. Yes. <laughs> well, you can ask for both guy and girl. Okay. So when you first start talking to them and they ask you to send pictures, like what kind of picture would you send? I would send a face picture. A face picture? Wait, wait. How did we meet? Because if you already know what I'm I was in the face picture anyway, I don't care. If I'm you already know what I'm just like, it doesn't matter if you just met him already. Pretty vagina. I was in the face picture. Like, you're supposed to be on. I'm saving like, you. Like, no, see this too? Like, no, like, no, no, why you keep moving closer to it? I'm just in the face picture because I'm gonna let you be like, God damn, bitch! I ain't know you had all that voodoo. This will be all this. Like yes, goddess. Real goddess. But they already saw you a person, so they know how you. Okay. Beat for the gods. That shit gonna be snatched. She'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely wouldn't be beat because I'm oh never going to get in makeup again. I can make up like every time I do a show and that's it. Uh, and that's the picture I sent. I'm mm-hmm. not getting it. Why are you going to be like, this no, ain't true? Because I look different from what I look with no makeup. So, what kind of picture are you sending? I'm going to send a, if I want to have sex, I'm going to send my titties because they're pretty. <laughs> and I'm going to send my vagina because it's pretty. And I'm going to send my face so because it's, it's, it's I think it's ugly too. It's an Audi. It's like, ooh. It is you know, you can buy a new vagina. Sky, I, Sky did it on Black Eight. I know. You can make Sky. your vagina from an Audi to a bagel. Yeah. yeah. Bagel. Yeah. What's your best quality? My best quality? Not her vagina because it's a messed up sandwich. A messed up sandwich. My vagina is ugly. My eyes. My eyes. My vagina. (laughs) Oh, no. Wait, wait. You got the wrong bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Look at the camera. I'll pull these good draws. These good pants there. I'll let you see. (laughs) When the the camera stop rolling, then you can show. Right. Hello. Hello. I got that shit. Oh, no. I ain't gonna take it. It's, it looks like bread. It looks like messy. A messed up sandwich. It looks like that powdery. Have you ever seen it? Um, okay. Um, <laughs> it does this. And then, the, and then the, wait, the little piece does this. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like. It's a. It wave at you though. Come on, man. Oh my god. You know how to make it work? Oh, no, I can't make it work. Oh, that was oh. good. Time. That would be tight though. That would be tight. 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 That would be I don't know. Yeah, what do y'all do? Pussy like that? Hmm? You got gold pussies? Absolutely. <laughs> gold mines. Not just gold. Like, it's mines in there. You Why are you over there talking? I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> they missed the rules. Like, we, we didn't give them the rules that you can't get up. I'm yeah. holding my pee. I got to pee like crazy. But I'm holding it <laughs> because the new rules said we're not supposed you to get up. You in the camera. Up, so. All right. Yeah, we can close out. We closing. We out. Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> you ain't doing yeah. it. Yeah. You are watching Soft 30. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Click all the buttons. Click, 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 click.